A few weeks ago, we made a bowl out of a flat piece of wood by cutting it into a spiral and then putting it in resin. We liked how it turned out and wanted to try a different material, so we found the nearest upper middle class home to sneak inside and steal their marble countertop to see if that would work. Surprisingly, it didn't turn out half bad. Got our spoils of war. I've never worked so hard in my life. <laughs> Who needs a truck? Go team! This is this is gonna work. This is very flexy. Oh yeah. I mean your biggest risk is gonna be breaking it, but Give that to your mom for Mother's Day, she might actually love you. <laughs> yeah. Like this is very flexible, like way more so than that quartz. Oh, that looks real neat. Excellent dismount. Kind of slippery there. Would you keep your bananas in that bowl? I would keep my bananas in there. Yeah. I mean, it's rock, so it does break kind of easy. You know what they say about rocks? They do be breaking. No. Oh. Right. That's so strong. Yeah, that's Carrera for sure. Oh, nice. Like the car? No. Oh. There we go, non-stick mule. There they don't call me that for nothing. Several days later. This is great. Hey, right. be good. It's a good thing this resin has a long work time because this would be tough to do quickly. All right, let's get that in the vacuum chamber. I'm praying it fits. Ah, oh, just right. This is a sad day. Good as new. You didn't, didn't see, see anything. anything. Well, the longer I wait, the more crap gets in the resin and the more solid it gets. So we're gonna send it. The resin was a lot harder than I thought, so we gotta go right now. Oh dear, that's way too thick. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is bad. Okay, the camera just died. I'm gonna one hand this, see what happens. Okay, Neil from the future here to explain the goofs and gaffs that happened with this resin. So, the vacuum pump was low on oil, which means it doesn't vacuum as strong, and so it took a lot longer, so the resin had a lot more time to cure, and I'm pretty sure I torched it way too much. Well, this is unfortunate. This is highly unfortunate. Yikes. You stay cold. Even the dog knew something was wrong.
But then I remembered what they taught me in home ec class, and so I decided to throw it in the oven. It's actually kind of working. Please don't look bad. Push! The next day. It's looking like this. Not great, but not bad either. And it glows. That is so sick. Remember how I sprayed this with mold release? Everyone in the comments is gonna tell you to do mold release. Oh, okay. Ooh, that was a good one. Oh, there it is, folks. That is a fine looking bowl. I mean, I don't know if I've seen a worse bowl than this <laughs> in my entire life. <laughs> Should we go see if it's glow in the dark? The bright, bright lights? Um, the light of your smile? Oh, don't make me blush. Ooh. You read out poo? I uh, tried to. <laughs> hey. There we go. Nice. My mom would be so proud. <laughs> she would. Now flip it over. Now it says dude. That's what I wrote. Yeah, you're writing dude upside down. I'm glad we had this moment. <laughs> too. Well, uh, time to sand it down, I guess. <sighs> so, uh, we've never made a bowl on a lathe before, which may or may not be obvious. So you want to have something here to drill into on both sides. And we didn't do that. So we're going to have to drill into the marble itself and hope it doesn't look terrible. It's so not sunny. <laughs> that will do, do Donkey. New idea. We glued this on here. We're gonna fill it with resin and drill into that instead. We had two heaters and the Amish furnace, but it blew the breaker. So wood burning stove. Yeah, very. It's the best kept Amish secret. It's secretly electric. But that's just perfect for an Amish like me. All right, we've made our hot box so we can smoke our bowl. I started getting really sleepy and then I remembered the bowl hypnotizer was back at it again with his antics. Fell right off the lathe and done busted. It caught right here. Just launched it off. Super glue will save us. Now it might look like Everett is doing all the work here and that's because he is, but I took a little shift, and this photo of me looking like Jason from Engineering Explained is the proof. That looks pretty nice, eh? We've got one more test to do. Ooh. Huge shout out to Everett for taking basically all day to do this with us. All things considered, this bull didn't turn out half bad if I do say so myself. Now when dad leaves to get milk in the middle of the night, he'll have no trouble finding his keys. All right.